Hello friends, in this video I'll tell you how to put time limit for a Google form, especially a quiz and also how to insert mathematical expressions into a form. First of all, let us create one Google form. So make it a quiz if you want to add marks. Time limit, click on the three dots here on the top. Go to add ons. So I'm using a time limiter named as Quilgo. Install this. Give permissions to Quilgo so that you can add it. So it'll show you how to use Quilgo. Now, this is the add-on symbol here on the top. Click on that. Click on configure. So it will show you how to enable Quilgo on your form. So click on enable Quilgo for this form. So it will ask permissions to access your email ID. Give permissions. And now the add-on is enabled. So after finishing the form, if you want to give the time limit, you have to go to quilgo.com. Here your form is ready. So this is the form which is ready for me. Sample test. So to create test, to add people, so you can copy the email addresses of your students and you can paste the email addresses here. So you can add your classroom email addresses completely and you can set the time duration. So the timer duration is, so it is example like 120 minutes. If you want to put it for 30 minutes, do it 30 minutes. And you can click on auto close form when the time is over in the sense. So the timer will be on when the form is opened. So soon after 30 minutes, the form will automatically close for the participant or the student. You can also have uh, enable camera tracking with this, with the premier, premium plans. So right now I'm using a free version, so we do not have that version. But if at all you want to stop uh, any kind of malpractices or copying in the exam, if it is an exam, you can go with the premium plans and enable camera tracking where you can monitor the child's movements, whether he's copying or not. And you can say allow to view quiz score and results after submission. This is for the student. So soon after he submits his quiz, he can see the quiz score. I can say create and it's done. So if, if you do not have email addresses and you just want to send the link. So in that case, you will click on public form link here. And then you can say copy link. And this link has to be pasted in any of the social networking platforms or uh, any common email where you can send this link to the participants and the participants can start quiz. So just say copy link, it's just co copied. Here also you can say copy URL. So it is copied to clipboard and then you can go to your students, Google, um, any social networking platforms, paste it there and send it. So at the end of your form, there will be a field automatically generated. So you can, you cannot do any uh, skipping of this field because it's a star mark. 
So you have to create some submission IDs or uh, you can ask the participant to put their own enrollment numbers here. You cannot edit this because this comes with the Quilgo form. So it has a limit of 60 submissions. So if the participants are more than 60, so you cannot do it in one single form for a free version. So if you want to go with uh, more number of submissions, then you have to go for a paid version. So the link is there with us. So you can also check the link, whether it is working or not, you just copy paste and you say go and you can see the form will be open. See, this is a sample test and the time is 30 minutes. So just open the form and you can see the timer on the top. So you see the timer on the top. So it has started for 30 minutes and this is the sample test. And I can say submit once I finish this. And this submission ID is automatically created by the Quilgo. Dot com. So you just finish it and submit it. And if you're not submitting it, this form will close by itself soon after 30 minutes. Now we'll see how to insert mathematical expressions into this Google form. Just say add-ons again. And the add-on which I'm using for expressions is Hypatia. Yeah, there are many add-ons, but I have used this already and uh, I like this add-on. So that's why I'm using this. So this is ready to in ready and I can use it on my account. I shall have to give so many permissions. So I finished and I know how to use it. I'll show you. So in the same form, if I want to insert this expression go to add on again hypatia first say insert or edit math so i'll say insert it will tell you how to do all the instructions here you can read and you can do it for yourself continue So now there's a page, so you can insert something which you like. Maybe I can use sine or cause or exponential or log. You can see ex if I say take exponential. You want to add more. So like this, just play with all the symbols here. You can add whatever you like. And there's an option called previous math, but because we didn't do anything here, there's no previous math. But once we do something here, it, there will be a previous math and you can use it and just change what if you want. So at the bottom, you have this create link. Click on this create link. And a link will be created. Now this link has to be copied copied onto the screen, just say control C. It's been copied. So you can put this aside or just close it. And wherever you want to insert this, just go to that option. And when you move the cursor, the symbol for add image will be appearing. Click on add image and go to the top, not upload camera, click on buy URL say by URL, paste this link which I have copied. You can see this and I'll say insert image. So the expression which we have generated is inserted as image here. So this copy paste thing cannot be done. You cannot do expressions in some other application and paste it here on Google form. It's not possible. So that's the reason we are trying to insert expressions in the form of images. So if you want to remove, you can remove or you can add whatever expressions you want. So this will be displayed 
in your page as well. So once it is saved, it will be displayed in your page as well. So this is how we will insert images and also um, we will uh, put timers to quiz so that we can have an assessment or test.